What's up everyone? Thank you for tuning back into At Home Dude. And today we're gonna be going over some cheap $20 headphones. Stick around and see why we're gonna be going over these right after this. What's up everyone, I know what you're thinking. Why are we going over headphones? Long story short, I am a stay-at-home parent and a lot of stay-at-home parents deal with isolation. Even though your children are around, you don't get a whole lot of adult conversation. And so you need to figure out a way to keep the gears going in your head and keep your sanity really, um, cause the kids can really drive you crazy. Um, one of the big things that really can help and what helps me are listening to podcasts and listening to music. Um, this can really speak to to you and can really promote a lot of self-thought. I encourage everyone to learn through podcasts and check out a bunch of different podcasts for entertainment purposes also. Now back to the product at hand, these J-Lab Audio Rewind headphones I am reviewing honestly because I love them and I give them a 10 out of 10 straight up. There's no reason to hide it. There's no reason to wait till the end. Long story short, sometimes what you really need is a Honda Civic and not a Lamborghini. Even for people who have really nice headphones, I have a lot of different headphones. I have always had a lot of them because I make music and but if you have really nice headphones, you may not want to take them everywhere or for every different occasion. Say if you are at work or whatever, you don't want to have to deal with someone stealing them. Or even if you lose them, these can be a pair, a backup pair that can really come in handy. So really quick, they basically say that they run for about 12 hours. I cannot directly attest to that because I am terrible with turning these things off. There's a button you push on the side that really is a single button that operates everything about these. So I mainly use Use it for power on power off and then play pause and that's really about it i believe if you double tap it you can skip a song so it's very simple and straightforward it plugs into a usb and other than that that's it that is the point of all of this these are only $20 and I have even run with these on or exercised with these on quite a few times and they did pretty well for me. I do like when you run with these on, they are open back. What they're gonna do is allow air in and out. It usually allows for a wider sound range so it sounds a little bit better. But again, these are not about the quality of the sound. So the sound is pretty standard. In terms of quality, they are pretty much just plastic and metal, nothing crazy about it. Um, what I will say is that I have two pairs of these. This is the old pair and no, you don't have to use the orange, I just decide to. But this is the old pair. They give you two black, two orange, so you get a replacement of the ear pads. They come off really easily. And basically these are pretty durable. They've lasted me four years and I also have showered with these on to be honest. <laughs> I have worn them in the rain. So I would say that it doesn't say anything about water resistance, but they are naturally somewhat resistant. Obviously you don't want to get a lot of water on these. They probably will die out. Open back allows you to hear your atmosphere. So like I said, I did run with these on and I like that they are open back because that allows me to hear the cars coming by or if there's a bike behind me or something like that, I can kind of hear my atmosphere a little bit if my music isn't blasting. So I thought that was good for safety. Dealing with the kids, um, I'm usually tuned into my podcast. If they're in the other room and they're getting too loud like they are right now, I can actually hear them because it has the open back. So I'm not completely tuned out of what is going on, but it just helps me because sometimes they get really loud and I can't hear it if it's just on my phone. Now, more so than anything, why did I wanna do this quick review? I just wanna suggest that you guys pick up these headphones. They have them on Amazon. The first pair that I actually bought four years ago was at Target. And basically the idea is that sometimes like I said, you need that Honda Civic. When I'm walking the kids down the street, boom, I just throw these on. They're charged usually. It's not a big deal. They last quite a long time on a charge and then they charge pretty quickly. They're extremely lightweight and they're really durable. I haven't broken them. They're basically as old as David and he actually has gotten to them a lot, him and Ezra. So the fact that they haven't broke them throughout their terrible twos and everything is pretty good sign in terms of durability. Now, I know you guys are asking me, why did I get two? Well, the old ones still work fine, but my wife actually steals them sometimes. Even though she has her own headphones, she steals mine sometimes. It's happened 
and I get them and then they're pairing to her phone and it just made me really annoyed. So I bought another pair because they're really cheap. Now she can take these when she goes running or whatever she wants to do. So that is it. Check out the different colors they have. They're kind of cool. The prices do vary. Like the black and gold ones are like five bucks extra. But yeah, definitely just wanted to share what was near and dear for me. Oh yeah, lastly, they do have a microphone. So if anyone calls you, boom, you just hit the button like that. You pick up the call and you talk as normal. No one has told me they've had any issues trying to hear what I'm saying. Boom, you're good to go, man. Go pick these up right now. You feel me? Bada bing, bada boom. Bada bing, bada boom.